Welcome to Textination. Joining us is Brian Martin, Chairman of the Board and Chief Technology Officer at 8x8. Thanks for joining us, Brian. Oh, yeah. Thanks for thanks for joining with me today, Fred. Well, give us some background so folks know a little bit about 8x8 to start with. Yeah, so 8x8 is a um, cloud communications provider. We, we serve more than 60,000 businesses with everything from uh, PBX replacement services, so you can get rid of your old phone system, to contact center, uh, video meeting services, analytics, just everything a business needs to communicate in, in all different forms and flavors, even chat. And you're out there with different flavors of your product, too, aimed at uh, businesses and consumers, too. Yeah, we sell a complete platform, but uh, one of the ways people come into our service is, is by just selecting a certain function or feature that they need. Uh, so we might have a business that's got an old, aging, dying PBX that may not even be supported anymore, and they may start using us just for, for a voice you know, communications, uh, tie their mobile, mobile users in. Uh, these days, work from home, video services, contact center. But we, we really provide the gamut, soup to nuts, on a single platform so that you really begin to get synergies between how those services work together. You have a common corporate directory, a common shared presence, the ability to chat, whether it's an agent in a contact center needing to reach me. Uh, they can see my presence. They can see I'm available. They can chat, call directly. Uh, there, there's a lot of tight, tight integration between all those different components. But we do sell them, you know, in piecemeal parts if that's all you want to uh, to utilize. And, and video, certainly we're seeing a lot of a lot of that demand these days. Sure. And there are you, there are options to use 8x8 for free as well. Tell, tell me about it. Yeah. So we replatformed our video technology uh, in the fall of 2018. We acquired uh, uh, an open source team that's called Jitsi. So you can go to the open source site at jitsi.org. Uh, and, and as an open source provider um, and at 8 by being its biggest sponsor, you know, we publish everything uh, that's at the core of, of what we do in video communications. Um, and so there's a, there's a service out there called Jitsi Meet that you can use for free. And 8 by 8 has got its own uh, branded version of that that is at 8x8.vc. Just take uh, any WebRTC enabled browser over to that site and spin up a service for free. Um, and then if you register with us, you give us your email, uh, which enables our marketing magic to start working on you. Um, you know, you get more features. And then, of course, we have an enterprise edition of the product uh, that's bundled into the, the core enterprise services that, that we sell and support and you know from a compliance perspective if, if you need hipaa certification if you're in telemedicine or you, you need pci certification you're in uh retail or, or online selling uh eight byte provides that as part of the enterprise version of it so that's kind of how we make money uh when when you have a free version of the product that that people can just start using but but then need more well on that subject Security, of course, is uh, is a major concern. It's been in the news lately, with uh, sure. with some of your rivals, especially. So tell <laughs> us tell us what it is that you're doing. You made an announcement actually this week. Yeah. Well, again, it starts with the fact that we're open source. So from a transparency perspective, and and knowing um, what is actually in the software, you know, things like, are, are we secretly sending something to Facebook or some, some unauthorized person? Uh, there's transparency from having that open source. Um, then you graft the open source onto what is already an enterprise grade, uh, set of voice services that, that is really what eight by eight as a, as a company is known for providing around the world. Um, and what we announced yesterday was, was trying to take um, what's called end-to-end -end encryption uh, of, of video services to the next level. And what I mean by that is um, the way these modern video platforms route the media, the actual video and voice that's part of the conference, they are routing that um, to a central video bridge or video router is what you can kind of think of it. Um, and our, our platform here is based on WebRTC, which is a, a technology that's largely sponsored by Google um, also an open platform. Uh, and WebRTC has the advantage that you don't have to download a client so that you can just use this native uh, to, to a WebRTC-enabled browser like Chrome. 
Um, and, and that's a huge advantage because that enables anyone to instantly come into a video meeting. It's not the old days where it's like, oh, I got to do this giant download and I got to wait for the install and maybe 30 minutes later I'll be part of a video call and maybe not. This is literally anyone can, can join the conference. And one of the limitations in WebRTC originally was it would it supports very uh, deep encryption, uh, SRTP encryption uh, using DTLS, but it only supports it hop to hop. And so that video bridge, that video router in the middle actually has access to the underlying data. In 8x8's case, that video bridge is being hosted by us. So if you trust us not to look at your data, uh, and obviously many of our enterprise clients do, you're fine, but there's still that notion that the data exists somewhere and, and maybe someone, a bad actor could be doing something with that. So in the Jitsi open source world, the, the solution to that was if you're really worried about not trusting your service provider, you would host your own Jitsi instance. You would host your own video bridge on hardware and servers that you controlled and you knew were secure. Uh, and that option is still out there. But what we announced yesterday and publish to the open source community to get the feedback from, from all these developers is a proposal of how to do true end-to-end -end encryption. So even 8 by 8 being the pro provider in the middle would not have access to the raw voice and video data. And, and we're working on getting that feedback in so that we can now go implement this uh, and, and share it with the world as to how we're doing this so that you don't have to worry about your service provider anymore. Uh, and that's a huge leap forward because no one in the space has true end-to-end -end encryption, uh, including our competitors. And, and we've just published uh, the world's first proposal on how to do that. What should consumers and businesses perhaps know when it comes to video conferencing and making sure that some third party isn't going to jump in on their conference and start <laughs> showing stuff that you don't want to be there? Yeah, a, a lot of it is uh, is common sense. Um, a, a lot of it is just around, um, you know, using complex names for for the name of your your bridge. You'll notice when you join uh, a meeting at 8x8.vc, we we can either generate a random meeting name for you, which is obviously going to be secure, but you're allowed to choose your own. And so if you just go and type in test or you know Brian's cocktail hour or something super simple. Um, that's going to be easily guessed by people out there. And, and you're going to have strange people in your room with you because uh, I think of the, the test URL, we see 500 uh, random meetings a day that, that people are just typing tests and going in. And of course, uh, lots of people do that. So, so really strong naming. Just the, It's the same thing as how you choose a password, right? You don't use welcome123 or password as your password. Uh, you need to name your meetings and then always use uh, a, a PIN code uh, to secure them, and, and that just adds to that 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 salting of what you're doing to make sure that someone from the outside can't figure out what you're using. Um, beyond that, it's you know I, I think end-to-end -end encryption will will take this a step further. But honestly, we see um, right now in this environment telemedicine, uh, like I said, banking, uh, certainly government, you know, all sorts of organizations uh, trusting. Uh, both the Jitsi open source as well as 8 bytes own enterprise grade platform to, to solve those security problems for them. Terrific. So what uh, should people know about 8 by 8 What sets you apart from the competition? Yeah, so um, open source, so complete transparency, um, really some of the world's best voice and video. Um, as, as we're all experiencing, not all networks are created equal, especially home networks. <laughs> and so you want a platform um, that can, can make sure the voice, number one, goes through seamlessly. Uh, we learned long ago when we pioneered the world of video conferencing, you know, a, a good video conference is always determined by the quality of the voice. Uh, you can put up with with video that that pauses or is jittery or goes in and out in terms of its frame rate. But if the underlying voice isn't good, uh, people will not have a good experience in that in that video conference. And so I think voice quality of what we provide and then the global reach of the platform we, we're supporting uh, right now on 8x8.vc, 50 different languages, um, 55 uh, different countries with dial-in and toll-free PSTN connection. So if you are a student that doesn't have access to internet at home, you can still dial in to your classroom and, and, and hear the lesson that way. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of core to what we do and how we differentiate there. 
Uh, and then security and compliance, you know, is always top of mind at 8 It always has been from day one. Well, we can tell that you're global because you've got China right behind you. <laughs> for, for, our, for our radio listeners, there's a China cabinet uh, right, right behind Brian. So tell me about the, the increase in usage that you've seen with the coronavirus. I mean, everybody's working from home. So many people are video conferencing. That's that's the office today for so that's many right. people and for family gatherings. That's right. Yeah, it's social as well. So, um, you know, it, it's it's unfortunate. It, it took a global pandemic, but I, I've spent my entire career trying to get mass adoption uh, of video, two way video communications. Uh, and it's something we've always looked to. We, we launched 8x8.vc, um, you know, right at the end of the year. Uh, so the timing was perfect. Uh, we went from a couple hundred thousand monthly active users and, and these are unique users. Right. So if I if I attend 10 meetings a day, I, I get counted as one, not 10 uh, in that number. So we went from hundreds of thousands of users to this morning, I think we were approaching 12 million uh, monthly active users. Um, and it, it's all occurred, as you said, because uh, and we saw it early on uh, in Europe, in Italy in particular, uh, as the classes had to, to move to a teach from home kind of mechanism. Uh, hospitals needed to connect patients that couldn't be visited uh, with their relatives. And so they turned to a tablet. And again, this, this all relies on that WebRTC where, where I don't need a, a special piece of software. I don't have to download anything. I can just get on a web browser and know that I'll be able to connect to the person. Um, we stood up a, a great site, which um, anyone can go to at, at the number eight, letter X, number eight, um, dot com slash live, L-I-V-E. Uh, and that's tracking uh, our, our usage. Uh, it's tracking our social commentary. We're getting in from around the world. You'll see you'll see social commentary getting tweeted in many languages. Um, and, and we combine both the Jitsi feed and the 8x8 kind of uh, enterprise feed into that. Uh, and it, it's just it, it's heartwarming to see in some of the stories we've seen. So uh, unfortunate circumstances, but but really glad that we had the right solution at the right time. Uh, to enable these 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 great outcomes for for this the, the very difficult times that these folks are in. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Uh, you know, I complain about the internet uh, connectivity not being all that it should be sometimes, but it's amazing that it's held up as well as it has for for so many of us. Yeah, and, and so yeah, it's like yours. Super interesting because the internet again, I think it's doing great, but that is what it was built for. It's it's a, a network that knows how to heal itself uh, when there are issues on it. Um, as you know, we're interconnected to more than 50 phone carriers around the world, just the, the traditional copper PSTN providers. And, and the strain on that network, including some even in the U.S., the mobile network in some areas, uh, it's under tremendous strain. Uh, the, the amount of work from home has really um, driven the capacity to the brink there. Um, and, and if you're a if you're a fixed copper provider, you know, you, you can't just spin up more AWS instances to cope with that. You've, you've got physical switch limitations. Uh, so I, I do think this has exposed the power of the Internet is, as, as a communications tool. Do you think that some of the changes that we're seeing uh, with, with video conferencing and this connectivity are going to be long term? I absolutely do. I, I really believe we're going to come out the other side of this uh, working in a completely different way. And it's it's because everyone, as you said, has been forced to learn how to use a soft phone, whether it's their mobile phone, uh, whether it's a computer screen. Uh, we, we, we can't reach the plastic that's sitting on our desks back at work. Uh, and as you said, socially, you know, we can't visit with family members by by picking up uh, the same tools we used to use. So I think this is forcing an education uh, of of using the internet as as your primary communications device, um, and and I I really see that fundamentally changing the way we work and play, uh, even when we we are allowed to go outside and and go back to the office. And I guess we're learning that it's perfectly okay if a toddler runs around behind you or a cat jumps <laughs> up on your desk. Yeah, I've got a I've got a Labrador that sleeps unless there's a, a squirrel or something that gets gets his attention. And so uh, I, I'm guilty of that. We haven't solved that problem yet. I, I think that's a that's a new application. Our AI and machine learning folks will get on is 
you know, automatically detect that there's barking in the background or a kid screaming and, and remove it from the, uh, the outgoing audio. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's all sorts of new, new kind of applications that, uh, that this, this situation is exposing. Well, hey, maybe that's not a problem. Maybe that's just life. So <laughs> wh where, where can people go to get more information and, uh, and to give it a try? Yeah, so um, 8x8.vc uh, is, is the site where the conference and the free conference is available and you can, you can give it a try. Um, we don't put time limits on it. It's completely free. You don't have to give us your email. Um, our corporate site, if, if you're looking for solutions working from home for your business, uh, is 8x8.com. Uh, and then for the, uh, the hackers in your audience, um, please take a look at, at the specs we stood up uh, yesterday, and that's at jitsi.org, J-I-T-S-I dot org. Terrific. Brian Martin, stay healthy, and thank you so much for taking the time with us. Yeah, you too, Fred. Thank you. Now this. How many companies out there have continued to innovate when it comes to building a better radio? I'm Fred Fishkin, host of Text to Nation, and I'm here to tell you about the new CC SkyWave SSB radio from the wonderful people at C-Crane. Bob and his crew really love radio, and it shows in this new compact model that is packed with features. Beyond great AM and FM reception and sound, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. Listen to ham radio operators, aviation, and more. It's the radio you'll turn to every day and in emergencies. It will run for nearly three days on just two AA batteries. Pair the sleep timer with the new Soft Speaker 3, and you've got the perfect radio for your nightstand. Of course, it can wake you up too. Click on Ccrane at textination.com and put in the code Textination for a free flashlight with your order. They love radio. And you'll love Seacrane.